Pram and Island. A small island with an interesting history, which is near to Edinburgh. <laughs> The First World War saw the northern end of the island, taken over by the War Department, as part of the defenses of the Firth of Forth. This part of Cramond Island was returned to its civilian owners in 1926, but on the outbreak of the Second World War, the entire island was requisitioned. The extensive construction works that were then carried out account for most of the structures still standing on the island today. As you approach Cramond Island along the causeway, the most obvious military defenses are in the form of an emplacement for a 75mm gun, intended to guard the gap between the island on the south shore of the Firth of Forth, plus a nearby housing for the searchlight, intended to illuminate targets for the gun. On the west coast of the island, are the remains of a stone jetty which could date back to the 1800s or to a much earlier date. One point two miles north of Cramond Island, you can see the fortified island of Inchmickery. The island of Inchmacuri was fortified in 1915 as part of the middle line of defense of the 4th, and specifically to cover the anti-submarine boom that ran from Burnt Island Sands to Cramond Island. The guns of the Inch Command Inchmacuri were first manned on March 16, 1915, when a detachment of 72 NCOs and men landed on the two islands from Leith Royal Garrison Artillery. Cramond Island is a tidal island in the Firth of Forth, reached at low tide by a causeway that extends for just over three quarters of a mile into the river from the village of Cramond. There is a notice board at the landward end of the causeway setting out the times when it may safely be crossed. Take note, and make sure you allow yourself the time you need to explore an island that turns out to be larger than it looks, and the time to get back along the causeway before the waters close over it.